Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. We've got a $125 mystery box from actual Dracula. So let's open it up and take a look. All right, so a uh, friend, Adrian, a.k.a. Actual Dracula, put out a mystery box, uh, $125 shipped from Canada. So I know that shipping this from Canada uh, is probably, a, well, that's about a $40, $50 thing probably. Oh, well, actually, no, he said it post that box, maybe $30. It's at least when I ship it to Canada, it'd be about thirty to forty dollars. Um, so you know, a big chunk of this is going towards the postage. <laughs> so props to him. Plus, inside there was a custom print that he uh, art print that he did that you could only get by getting the mystery box. Uh, really kind of cool print. So happy to support him and take a look at the box he sent. Now I'm not going to lie, I've seen DJ Links' uh, video just as I was about to. Uh, record mine and i'm super <laughs> excited now because it was fire um you got a little video here thanks for uh purchasing and supporting mystery box uh and please follow and subscribe for future blah, blah, blah. Right. already but i'll put his information uh down below we have a bundle of books and then we have the shredder print inside here so let's go ahead and open this. Pull tab action is always good. So this art print was called Shredder, and it was kind of a hybrid. It was a hybrid. Uh, it took took this out. Oh, I got issue. I got number four. Uh, so this is Shredder. <laughs> so it's called, but it's Wolverine fighting the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> let's check that out. Very cool. Uh, actual Dracula after Miller, number four out of 35 prints. So that's awesome. Now, he has told us he was going to go ahead and he would uh, sign and remark them, but we have to send them back up to Canada, and then we have to pay for the postage back. So I think we'll just leave it just the way it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to cut right here and get this out of this bubble wrap and then we'll take a look all at right books. so we got the books out of the bubble wrap uh we have a label to start here and over here it says flip over we already had tape failure on here uh three of the four points so this should be pretty straightforward and simple to get that undone all right so we that side was the side that said start here so we put these down We'll go through them. Oh, and then we got some extra tape here. Pull this off. We need these. These are the stickers. Ah, no! Let go! Oh! All right, community stickers. Very important. All right, first book up. Uh, let's see what we got. You Promised Me Darkness from Behemoth Comics. Is number one. Next up, Spider-Man Life Story Annual. It's a cool cover. I've never seen this. Variant edition. Obviously there with Electro on the cover. All right. Except, all right, there you go, Wolverine. We got the uh, Peach Pomoko variant. I know this book. I just, I just saw this on, because I have, have this book. I just saw it in uh, updated values. I'm just surprised. It's actually a pretty, pretty valuable book. All right, next up, uh, Ice Cream Man, issue 23. Not an independent guy personally, so it doesn't really wet my whistle, but for some people I know it well. All right, here we go. Here's that one. Incredible Hulk, issue 184, The Living Shadow. That's a cool book. I like that. This is 
Yeah, no, this is proper. This is a nice, um, very fine book, condition book. Very good. All right, next up, Moon Knight, issue number one. More recent series, obviously. Cool book. Moon Knight got popular. Ooh, this is a, a lot of backing boards and stuff in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, older book. Here we go. We got the Eternals, number four. When gods walk the earth. I like this. He uh, books like this. He put some good, put some like extra backing boards to make sure that they're protected well. Oh, nice. Uh, Catwoman thirty six with a really kind of weird looking Harley Quinn looking at you. Another one with a bunch of bunch of black boards. Uh, Punisher War Journal number six, featuring Wolverine. Wow, lots of backing boards. Wolverine versus Blade number one. Mature content warning. Wow. I didn't know you can put that many packing boards in there. With it. It's impressive. All right. This one says on the back, it's Incredible Hercules 133. And it's the origin of Amadeus Cho, according to the back. Oh, and the front, the mind bending origin of Amadeus Cho. All right, and then our last book here. Oh, wow. Holy. This has got a lot of backing boards. So this is Something is Killing the Children, number 25. Uh, Virgin variant limited to 500 copies. Signed by, or art by Ariel Diaz. And it is signed, uh, I'm assuming that that is Ariel Diaz signature as well. And this has got some, I don't know if you can see, this is a chrome shiny in the, in the blade works there. That's really kind of cool. I'm not a something is killing the children guy, but I mean, hey, I, I recognize that this is a 300 out of 500 uh, books for something that's killing the children. It's a popular series. I recognize there's definitely um, value there in these books. Very cool books. Um, uh, I mean, look, again, I don't care about something that's killing the children, but I recognize that is a cool ass looking book, uh, if nothing else. Very nice. Um, awesome. 125 shipped from Canada, plus the main ingredient, the Shredder art piece uh, Adrian did. Phenomenal. All right, guys, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me think, tell me what you think. What book did you like the best of all of these? Um, or what jumped out at you that I don't recognize as being totally awesome that I'm not reacting to? Uh, let me know. And uh, until next time, collect what you want. Don't listen to me. I mean, I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.